Hello everyone, welcome back to another Scratch Basics tutorial, and today I'll be showing you the four conditional statements that Scratch has. To go to the conditional statements, you go all the way here to the left, where you see all these colors, and then you go down to control. Once you're at control, these are the four conditional statements that they have. If then, if then else, wait until, and repeat until. So what are conditional statements, you may ask? So they're basically like, if something happens, then you do this, or this action happens. Or if something happens, then you do this. If not, which means else. If not, then you do something else. The wait until means you wait until a certain action has happened. Or repeat until, which is wait until, but you repeat repeat until a certain action happens and then when that action happens another action happens so like basically let's say i were to wait until i set a timer and i wait until the timer hits zero once the timer hits zero uh an alarm clock can go off all right so we'll start off with the if then statement so we'll drag this out we'll take an event and we'll go when the green flag is clicked in here you put something that has a diamond shape so i know touching mouse pointer has a diamond shape and then if touching mouse pointer let's pick an action i'd go with a sound so play sound meow until done but this will only happen at the exact point that the green flag is clicked so we'll put a forever loop around it And now that we have this, we're going to try it out. And then once I take my mouse off it, it stops. And then when I put it on again, it keeps going. Now let's look at the if then else statement. So we'll drag this out. We'll go to our events. Take that. And then go back and take our forever loop. And now we're going to see what to do. So if touching mouse pointer then play i'm going to put a sound here else play something else so i'm going to go to my sounds and then if touching mouse pointer play the meow sound if it's not touching the mouse pointer then play the bass sound so when i click the green flag it starts playing the bass sound and once i put my mouse onto the onto the cat It starts playing the meow sound and once i take it back off it plays the bass so now let's look at the wait until statement so we'll go down and drag our wait until out and then we'll go back to our sensing and touching mouse pointer and then we're going to go to our forever loop and we're going to pull out a sound i picked this classical piano sound so basically what this code does is that it's going to wait until the cat is touching the mouse pointer and then once it does, it's going to play the classical music. So if I press the green flag, nothing's happening at the moment since I haven't touched the cat with the pointer yet. But once I do, it goes on. Once I stop it, it stops and then it repeats. It's gonna wait until I touch the cat with the mouse pointer, and then once I do, it plays. The last conditional statement we'll be looking at is the repeat until statement. So repeat until, we'll take that out. We'll also bring our forever loop out. We'll connect these two, and we'll make a condition. So until the cat touches the mouse pointer, is going to play the meow sound. So what this does is basically, it's going to repeat the meow sound until I touch the cat. So we'll go over here and press the green flag. And then it stops. And then this goes on and on, since it's in a forever loop. Now you know the four conditional statements in Scratch. You can do so much with these, and it's really handy when you come to play with games. 
like if statements are extremely handy when you're making a simple condition. If then are when you want to make a simple condition while something else is going on so that once that condition is met, something else happens. The wait until is basically you wait, you wait for something to happen and then once that condition happens, something plays. And then the repeat until is basically the opposite of wait until, which is where something happens until a condition is met and then that thing stops. For more beginner level Scratch tutorials, visit our Scratch Basics homepage at chromeworks.ca slash basics.